I think it's very important uh, for people of good sense uh, to begin to speak up uh, when this president continues to fly in the face of the constitutional principles that are the underpinnings of this great country. This country does not have to be made great again. I don't care what Trump says. This country is already great. What we've got to work on and what our great challenge is, is making this nation's greatness accessible and affordable for all of its citizens. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what is going on with these demonstrations. People are trying to make our judicial system accessible uh, and affordable for all. That's what we're trying to do uh, in response to this pandemic, making our health care accessible and affordable, restructuring these things in such a way that they will serve everybody. And so I think it's very clear that the Secretary of Defense is saying to the President that he understands what his role is, that this is not a police state. This is a state that this, uh, uh, this country it is run by constitutional principles that this president seemed to have very low regards for. Um, Congressman, I, I wanted to ask you, because of who you are and what you've seen and what you've done over your life in civil rights and the fact that you yourself spent time in prison and that age 12 you were heading your own uh, chapter of the NAACP, what reaction did you have on a gut level or just on, a, on any level when you saw that original video, the eight minutes that led to George Floyd's death? The first thing that came to my mind was Emmett Till. I was a young man when Emmett Till uh, was murdered. Uh, I uh, remember uh, so many instances uh, during the 60s that people lost their lives over silliness, uh, over disregard for life. And I thought, really, that, that we'd gotten beyond that. But then uh, I remembered watching uh, the video of Walter Scott in my congressional district being shot in the back by a police officer while he was running away. Of course, we didn't riot. We came together as a community, black and white. And that police officer got 20 years in jail for having done that. Uh, 